Yeah. Whatever. All right. Um, so, uh, we got Shane Gillis live in Austin. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Good old Gillis in Austin. Yeah. 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 Gillian Keeves. Gillian Keeves. Okay. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Austin, Texas, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Austin, Texas. The music capital of the world. Yep. All right. Let's go, man. You ready? Yes. I am right now. We've already checked out a clip from this. Uh, I think it was Special, uh, Special Olympics. Olympics. Special Olympics. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, he was a basketball coach. Uh, he was he was their coach. I'm not yeah. sure what okay, sport they were playing. Okay, he may have been a multiple sport coach. Yeah, it was the Olympics. <laughs> you ready? Uh, yes. This is part one. Part one. I don't mind, I was thinking about the first time like Congress had to come up with age of consent. They already started. <laughs> that had to be like the powdered wigs and stuff. That had to be a rough day for the fellas. It's like some guy coming up first, like, from Rhode Island, 12. And I was like, ew, ew. No, dude. I, I don't know, why'd I have to go first on this one? It's like the hardest one to go first on. <laughs> Talking so shit. This is exciting. I was a little too excited. I panicked and got this haircut. What an, an insane fuck up. <laughs> My hair was fine. It was totally fine. And then two days ago, I was like, I gotta, I gotta salvage this. <laughs> it's crazy that I thought the hair, like my hair was, I was like, if I fix my hair, I'll look good. <laughs> like that was the final piece of the puzzle <laughs> for, for me. There's a Dominican barbershop by my house in New York. I think I'm the first white guy that's ever been in there. I was basically Christopher Columbus of this barber shop. And they fucked me up, dude. Don't get, if you're white, don't get a Dominican haircut. You end up just looking more racist. It was nice though. He kept trying to reassure me the whole time. He was like, no man, your head's good. <laughs> that's all he kept, he kept saying, your head's good. I was like, oh, thank you. Whatever, fuck this haircut. How are you guys? <laughs> Look, it's good. It's good. I'm happy. It's nice. Everybody's back inside, all that shit. I don't know. I had a good... I liked COVID. I had a nice time. <laughs> I live in New York, so I left. I went back to my parents' house because I have white privilege. <laughs> Some people didn't get to leave the city. I did because of my privilege. And I used it. You gotta use it. You know what I mean? Doesn't it feel more disrespectful to waste it? You know, what, then we're all just being racist for nothing? <laughs> <All right. laughs> but no, it's good, I went home. My parents, I haven't lived with them in over 10 years. They got old, they're old as fuck. They have milk though, I'm back on milk. I've been fucking crushing milk lately. I got fucking milk fat this year. It's a weird time in life to have a milk renaissance. I was 33. But it was nice. I think my favorite part of the year was I, uh, I got to watch my dad watch the news. It was a rough year for my dad and the news. He's a Fox News guy. Don't, yeah, it's fine. Also, I see you guys. Most of you have Fox News dads. How dare you deny your fathers? That's a good dad. I don't watch Fox, but that's a good dad. Fox News mom? Uh, that's bad. You don't want a Fox News mom. That's a bad mom. She smokes in the house. But a Fox News dad, that's a good fucking dad. Can you imagine if you had a fucking MSNBC dad? 
guy, some guy every night at dinner, like, we need to start focusing on renewable energy. <laughs> like, like, ew, dude, I didn't know dad was gay. <laughs> Talking to me about solar panels like a fucking lady. He might have had her straight as hell, dude. We fucking hate the environment. <laughs> That's how straight we are. All we talk about is eating pussy and fracking. <laughs> we hate nature. We go fishing. We don't even eat fish, dude. We just catch them and fucking... <laughs> no, he's good. He likes Fox. He watches Fox. <laughs> He watches it every night. Like every Fox News dad, my dad watches Fox every night until he can't. That's how long they watch. They watch every night until they get so angry they have to go to bed. My dad will watch for like two hours and then out of nowhere he'll just stand up and be like, fucking Mr. Potato Head's trance, I'm going to bed. This world's going to hell. <laughs> He's all about it, dude. He loves it. Like every Fox News dad, my dad watches Fox with one goal. He's just trying to get one fact. That's all he's doing. He's sitting there, he's trying to retain one piece of information that he can then relay to whoever's unlucky enough to enter the living room <laughs> while he's watching. And you'd think it'd be easy to get one fact, but every once in a while there's like a commercial for like a commemorative 9-11 gold coin. <laughs> it just fucking wipes their hard drive. <laughs> What was I watching? I gotta get one of those, I gotta get my hands on one of those patriotic coins. <laughs> my dad drinks too, so he can never, he can never get a fact, ever. You'll come in the living room, we'll be ha he's hammered watching the news every night, which is the wildest way to take in world politics, <laughs> like just, hammered on a, in a recliner like whoa <laughs> it's like footage of rocket attacks in Israel he's like whoa <laughs> what the hell are they doing over there <laughs> what's these guys problem <laughs> but he can never get a fact like he tries he tries he, say, he, he uses Fox News as like a PowerPoint for what he's trying to say. Like everyone, like we'll be eating dinner and like Hannity will be saying something. He's like, see, that, that's what I meant. Look at that. That's me talking. I can't say it that good. <laughs> he can never get a fact. He'll walk in the living room. He's been watching the news for three hours. He'll be like, all right, what's going on in the world? He's like, you want to know? <laughs> I'll tell you. Fucking Nancy Pelosi's a bitch. <laughs> it's like, all right. All right. Settle down, dude. It's like, that was the news last... That's the news every night for my dad. They're just like, breaking. Did you know Nancy Pelosi's a bitch? <laughs> my dad's like, yeah, yeah. I had a feeling. But he likes it. Everything they say, he agrees with. He's all in. I realize, like, Fox News is basically black church for old white dudes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, literally everything they say, my dad just sits there like, mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, preach, Tucker. <laughs> Every once in a while, he gets hit with the Holy Spirit while he's watching it. The Holy Ghost visits him. He's just like, oh, Lord, build a wall. <laughs> Can I get a wall? He needs a wall. Uh, My dad needs a wall. For a guy who lives in central Pennsylvania, <laughs> securing the southern border is like oddly important to him. I don't know what he's worried about. Yeah. Like he's going to lose his job? <laughs> you know? Like some guy from Honduras is going to walk the whole way <laughs> to, to Pennsylvania? Just slam a resume down on my dad's boss's desk. So you're here for the sales position? <laughs> also, there, I, I was just at the border of Arizona and Mexico. There's a wall. 
I had no idea. I got down there, I saw the wall. I was like, holy shit, he built it? They were like, no, it's been here. It's been here for like a century. I was like, look, well, you gotta tell my dad. I'm fucking him up. He gets fired up every night. It's a crazy way to go to bed. Every night, just like, <laughs> just with his apnea mask on, fucking. <laughs> every night, just fucking caravan. <laughs> Dude. You walk into the living room in my house right now, my dad, he'd hit you, he'd be like, Southern Border is a mess right now. <laughs> <He just, laughs> it's crazy. But I make fun of him for it, and then I, I, I do the exact same thing just with my phone. Every night, I just look at my phone until I can't. I'm like, fucking Mr. Potato Heads? <laughs> That's it, every day. I just get on, read opinions from people I know are dumb. Like, in person, I know they're dumb. I've talked to them. And I'm still reading their Twitter, their political opinions. It's great. And my, my Twitter's crazy. It's, it's half where I'm from, which is the middle of Pennsylvania, so it's, it's white trash. And then half, now, I'll, now I live in New York. <laughs> so it's crazy. Like, all, you know, I still have uncles. They all just got Twitter. They're all fucking fired up. They're having fun, dude. They all have, like, zero followers. They just tweet into the void. <laughs> They love it, dude. They do it for the love of the game. They're like, Panera was good today. It's onto a server that'll outlast civilization. <laughs> and then now all my new friends are literally communists from Brooklyn. So it's wild, dude. My social, like, I'll get, on, I'll get on Twitter, and the first tweet I see will be someone from back home that's just like, fucking Colin Kaepernick better stand up. <laughs> Like this tweet if you support the police. <laughs> share it if you're not gay. <laughs> All right, I'm fucking I'm share. I share that. <laughs> and then the next post is just one of my new woke white friends that's just like, I'm not racist. That's it. <laughs> Every day for the last year, just a different white person popping up, like, look at me. Look at this article I shared to my Instagram story. I'm not racist, right? It's like, all right. You sure? So I don't know if you know this. Like, being racist isn't like a yes or no thing. You know what I mean? It's not like you have it or you don't have it. Like, being racist is more, it's like being hungry. You know? It's like, yeah, you're not right now. <laughs> Damn. You know? It's like, yeah, you're not hungry right now, but a cheeseburger could cut you off on the highway. <laughs> and you get hungry. You were hungry all day. <laughs> the cheeseburger's Jewish in that joke. <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Cheeseburger is whatever, whatever type of cheeseburger you thought it was. <laughs> In your racist heart. <laughs> anyway. But that's it. I just get online, read opinions from people. The news, like other news is kind of like, this is the most divided this country has ever been. It's like, with the, like the red states and the blue states. It's like, why? Because we tweet at each other? You know we had a war, right? You know this country had a civil war? That was pretty divided. Like, at least nowadays we're communicating with each other. Back then, those guys never... They got the news, like, once a month. Some guy would come by on a horse, and they were like, who's talking shit? And the guy was like, the South is talking shit. <laughs> they were like, fuck that. I don't like that. Give me my gun. I'm gonna go down there. I'm gonna walk, I'm gonna walk down there for a month straight. Shoot the first fucking guy I see down there. <laughs> That's how much. <laughs> the Civil War was basically just the North just shooting racism out of the South. <laughs> That's what happened. The North was like, South, fucking chill. And the South was like, no. <laughs> so a bunch of guys had to walk down there and shoot them a lot. They were like, all right. <laughs> we'll let them go. <laughs> but we're not going to be nice to them for a while. <laughs> Until we find out they're good at football and then roll tide. <laughs> <That was funny. laughs> No,
Lamar had to come and shoot the <laughs> <laughs> and shoot the racism out of the south. <laughs> It's like okay. <laughs> what are they saying down there? South <laughs> <laughs> talking, talking shit. After a month long ride, <laughs> damn, that's how it was. <laughs> they got news Man. once a month. <laughs> damn, that's funny, man. <laughs> so if you think about it, man, I was just like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> eighty. 70, 60 years ago, people thought that shit was. Yeah. 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 I guess we're better off now, you know? <laughs> uh, yeah, we yeah, are. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We have progressive thinking. Just, uh, yeah. What did you say? Fox News is like black <laughs> church. <laughs> To old white people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They're like, <laughs> you got hit with the Holy Ghost. <laughs> oh, man. He said, he said, damn. He said, nigga, gonna walk from Honduras. Oh, yes, yes, to come and get you. <laughs> to get his dad's job. He gonna slap him. Yeah. <laughs> he gonna slap his. Application, like yeah. you're applying for the sales position. See, yeah, that was just part one. No, that was just part one. <laughs> 